Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I gotta try and make this video quick because I only have like 22 minutes of space on my memory card, but um, today I'm going to be sharing with you my current perfume and uh, body mist uh, collection. And the reason I'm doing that, first of all, I did a video like this a couple years ago, I think. I don't know exactly how long it's been. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that hurts. Uh, but I did a couple years ago, and I think since then I either decluttered stuff, but don't remember decluttering it, or I lost it, because I'm like, pretty dang sure I had more than this last time I filmed. Like, there are some things that I don't have now that I don't remember getting rid of um, that I'm pretty sure I had then, so... I'm not sure what's up with that, but anyway, uh, I have recently fallen down a rabbit hole of falling in love with fragrance, and that's new for me. I've always had, I feel like, a decent amount of, like, body sprays and perfumes, um... For like the average person i kind of don't feel that way anymore <laughs> um but maybe it's because i'm newly obsessed uh but i figured i would share what my collection looks like now because i do anticipate it growing quite a bit and uh, quite quickly so i figured i'd just share with you what it looks before all that happens um so i'm just gonna i'm gonna share my perfumes first because i kind of just threw everything in a bag to bring it out here um, and those are on top, so there's, I think there's a perfume in there that got lost. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and start. So I'm actually going to start with my oldest perfumes and kind of like work my way up to the newest ones. So this one, the packaging is like really dinged up and old, um, but this smells so good. So this smells like straight up suntan lotion. Um, it's like the perfect, like, you're literally on the beach smell. It doesn't smell like sunscreen, really. It smells like, like tanning oil. There's like, definitely some coconut in there. I don't know, like, the notes in this because, let's see if I, yeah, the brand is not on here and it's just called instant vacation and i agree instantly feel like i'm on a vacation when i smell this it's it's so good so good um but i've had this for a very long time very long time and it still smells exactly the same as when i first got it uh so there's that um this one is Encanto by Salvatore uh, Ferragamo. I don't, I'm not great with pronouncing names. This one still smells really good. I'm also like not good at um, describing scents, but this one seems like it's a floral, but it's not like old people floral do you know what i mean like i don't like those like really like mature florals um this has definitely got a bit of a freshness to it it's just so good it's so good um i've i mm, i think i've had that one longer but i've had both of these since i was in high school at least they're very old <laughs> uh this one is probably my next oldest. This one is a little like 0.15. Um, yeah, I think this is like 0.15 fluid ounces of uh, Britney Spears Fantasy. And it's just a tiny little bottle. It's so cute. This smells so good. It is so sweet. And it's just... I don't even know like I'm so bad at describing scents hopefully I'll get better at that like I don't know the notes in here or anything it's just a very sweet fragrance um 
very youthful, but like I don't think it's necessarily like a kitty scent. I don't know. I think it smells real good. Next oldest is this one. This is a Betsy Johnson uh, perfume. I don't know the name of it, but look at the bottle. It's so freaking cute. Um, this one is definitely like a like a fresh, musky, almost like I don't even know how to describe it. It's good though. Like, I mean, I wouldn't have it if I didn't like it, but so far all four of these scents are just so different from each other. This is definitely, um, it almost has like a fresh, clean laundry hint to it, but it has more depth than just that. It doesn't just smell like clean laundry. There's like a muskiness to it too. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's good. There's that. I forgot. I gotta make this fast. <laughs> um, let's see. Next is this one, which is uh, Marc Jacobs Daisy. It's just a little teeny tiny guy. I don't even know how many. It says on the bottom, but I can't read it right now. Uh, I don't have my glasses because I'm blind. Uh, but I love Daisy. It's so good. My mom got this for me. Um, It's just so light and fresh and like floral, but like kind of like a sweet, like a very, very small hint of sweetness in the floral. My mom got me that because I said I wanted, uh, I smell this. I think I have like a little sampler and I told her I wanted that for like my birthday or Christmas and something, something and she got me this teeny tiny little guy. It's so cute. Okay, next is I think this one, which is Victoria's Secret Bombshell. Um, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna stop trying to explain what they smell like because I don't have time in this video. So this is Victoria's Secret Bombshell. I think most people probably know what that smells like anyway. Um, the next one is Pacifica Dream Moon. This scent is so good. And um, I've never smelled uh, Baccarat Rouge, but I have seen on uh, websites that say like perfumes that smell like it or dupe it, uh, this is on that list. So if Baccarat Rouge smells anything like this, it's freaking delicious. This says it's got patchouli, sandalwood, and pink rose. Um, so good so good mm, next is Victoria's Secret very sexy and I think I'm losing my sense of smell because I've smelled so many things now it's just good it's good I feel like I can't smell it correctly right now because there's just too much in the air I gotta stop spraying things oh my god um, let's see what's next. Next is this one. This is from Solo Notes and this is Freesia. Uh, this scent is very, very floral. Um, when the scents are too floral, they give me a headache. Um, and I kind of, I saw this at Target. I smelled it. it smelled, I guess smelled it from the bottle. It smelled good. Um, I kind of didn't understand the point of this line, which is to like mix and match them to create your own scent. And, um, I definitely should have bought a couple more to like layer them because this by itself gave me such a huge headache and it was so strong. Like this lasts, this lasted on me for a long time. Like, I could smell it like my like this was like taped under my nose for probably a good two hours and then the smell lasted on me without being like that incredibly strong for probably another like 
three or four hours and this is a $20 perfume. Mm, it's strong. It's strong. Next is Kenneth Cole White. This smells so freaking good. I sprayed too much stuff and now I can't smell properly. Does that happen to anybody else? I feel like people um like people i've seen that have like fragrance channels will like spray like 20 things but they're still able to smell the next thing i don't understand how they do that because like i can't smell anything now but this smells so freaking good i got the body mist for it at the same time that i bought this i actually found the body mist first i got this at walmart uh this is probably a one ounce um i don't know i'm guessing this is a one ounce uh, I got this for 15 at Walmart, and then I think the body spray was like 10 So stinking good. So good. Okay, next is Britney Spears Curious. This bottle is so cute. This is probably like, other than like Daisy, which just has this cute little flower on top. No, you know what? This one's really stinking cute. I don't know. I love cutesy like bottles that some people would probably consider tacky but this one is not what I was expecting it's like very fresh but like kind of like clean laundry fresh so I'll probably end up using this as like a layering one um but it's not bad and then this one I don't even know why I don't even know why I'm still trying to smell things. This is Twinkling Night, and I got this from Five Below, and although I can't smell it right now, when I smelled it before, it smelled really stinking good, and it's, you know, it's a Five Below bottle, so it's like real, it's cheap, like the cap is plastic, um, like a cheapy plastic, not like an acrylic, like these other ones, um, and this gold part is just a sticker, that's on there but otherwise I think the bottles you know not bad I think it's kind of cute um and the fragrance smells good so that's what matters right yes okay there's another like little tiny uh bottle like this big that's floating around in in that bag somewhere uh it's just a really old Avon perfume it doesn't have a name I don't think um, but I'm going to move on to the body mists and if I find it, I'll show you. But this one is Axe You Daily Fragrance. I think I must have gotten this in like an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm or something like a million years ago. Uh, there's that. I don't even know what it smells like anymore. It smells like Axe. <laughs> like, I think it, this is meant to be like a unisex, uh, version though I don't know I'll use it but there's that I've got this Bath and Body Works scent it is Italian Citrus Sun can I even smell anymore no I can't there's literally no point um yeah so you know Citrus Sun that's what it is and then I have one from the same line, which is uh, Mediterranean Blue Waters. And let's see. This one is very old. So this is Paris Amour. And this is a Bath and Body Works fragrance. You guys, I've had this. This is probably my oldest fragrance out of all my like body sprays and perfumes. I have had this probably since seventh or eighth grade. And that was many, many a moon ago. Uh, look at the shape of this bottle. When did, I don't even remember Bath and Body Works ever making like body sprays in this bottle shape. So how old is this thing? Like, and this actually might have been given to me by, um, 
like my cousin's ex-girlfriend or something. He had a girlfriend at one point that would like constantly declutter her stuff and like hand it down to me and my sisters. Um, and this actually might have belonged to her and I might have taken it from her. So who knows how old this thing is. And it's like, I haven't used that much of it. Like, it's almost full. Ugh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I think this is why I started getting like more obsessed with fragrance because I realized like I have some and I want to inspire myself to use them more, but also explore more scents. Uh, this is Bath and Body Works Cherry Blossom. It smells like cherry blossom. So I'm gonna try and get all my Bath and Body Works ones first. I don't know if I can. This is Magic in the Air by Bath and Body Works. This one smells really good. I'm actually not gonna go in order. I'm just gonna grab stuff because I don't have time. This is Passion Struck by Victoria's Secret. Pretty sure this is another pretty old one. Oh, there's the little tiny perfume. This is so old. This is the fragrance mist that I am working on uh, using up right now, which is the Waterless Rose and Peach. And it's not my, it, I don't hate it, but it's like not my favorite. And it just does not last like at all. Like I drench myself in this like and I swear to god like you can't even th there'd be no trace of it in like 30 minutes to an hour it was kind of pointless I've got pink sunkissed vacay and I think I have two of these yeah I have two of these I don't know why I have two I think my aunt got me both of them though but I've got two of these little mini ones I don't know where the lid for this went, but I have Be Enchanted by Bath & Body Works. I have Blush by Victoria's Secret. Pink Fresh and Clean. This is Ariana Grande Moonlight. This is so... I can't smell it right now, but it's so good. It's so good. And then this is the body spray for Kenneth Cole White for her. This is Love Spell by Victoria's Secret. A little Bodycology Winter Coconut. And that's it. So those are all of the fragrances that I own right now. Um, the ones that I bought like super recently that um, I added to my collection since becoming newly obsessed were the Ariana Grande Mist, the Kenneth Cole Perfume and Body Mist, uh, this Five Below Perfume, the um, Britney Spears Curious, and the Solanote Freesia. Everything else I already had, most of it I've had for a really long time. Um, but yeah, I am running out of time. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're interested in uh, fragrance content and I'll see you next time.